I can have is in this kitchen serving you stewed prawn and jollof rice today. Guys, this is the best of seafood and jollof you will want to have any day, any time. And making this was actually fun for me. Like, I've got, as you guys can see on my table there, I've got my uh, prawn there white prawn i've got my tomato and i've got my red ball pepper and that one jara african shepherd pepper that is the chumbo that i have there of course the first i did as you guys will suspect is just to you know blend my tomato pepper and onion and ginger together getting them ready for to boil guys i didn't fry this directly i had to boil it first so this is the parboiled tomato is almost well cooked and the water is gone this will mean it to take less time to fry before we start making the jollof rice so let's get started right now i'm just parboiling the rice i just parboiled the rice rather to get it ready for uh, cooking and the next now is i'm gonna start frying this too in the oil i just i'm just showing you guys now my rosemary my thyme but of course in the oil the chopped onion will go in first to add some more flavor to the oil as we cook along i added some more seasoning some salt some crayfish but i'm not going to add my prawn because my prawn is made to be steamed not fried i'm adding my of course tomato now to start frying with the other spices i have in the oil already and now i'm adding my rosemary i'm going to also add my thyme and let both of them to keep you know cooking and frying i just added some more seasoning some curry and now it's frying so really good and the aroma coming from this my god is so good i just added some nutmeg now and this is the perfect time to add my prawn to cook for just three to five minutes guys the prawn is meant to be steam cooked not necessarily fried so this was the perfect time to add it to have this beautiful good looking prawn now i'm just going ahead to start cooking the jollof rice proper and now guys there is no need to add so much water when cooking jollof rice like this just enough water to cover the rice not so much and then very importantly cover with steam or cover with aluminum foil and cook for some time and check once in a while and this is me almost done with cooking guys realize there's no oil so much oil in this rice because i know i was going to add some butter to add some more flavor and of course some little oil oil from the uh, prawn that i too i removed earlier from the stew i'm adding of course the prawn back now to give the rice the perfect look not that i'm going to cook the, the rice any longer anyway now this is me dishing the rice the most stylish way i know how to do it and of course again adding the prawn to make it look beautiful guys can you imagine the combination of this nice looking seafood and jollof rice this is the best you can hope to have any day anytime and i hope you get to try it i love you guys bye